G'day everyone, welcome to another video by DFT. My name is Andrew Cook and this is a quick video, I'll keep it short, on how to make EVF foam look like a leather substance. So, I did, I'm working on Skyrim Street at the moment where I use these pauldrons and you guys really like the texture effect. So, here's a quick tutorial, hopefully less than 4 minutes, to show you. I'm going to keep it simple and easy to follow. So first thing, of course, you're going to need the foam. It doesn't really matter what kind of thickness you're using, um, it'll all work out in the end. Just make sure you've got the foam. And this is EVA foam. You're going to need a heat gun, uh, your foam, and you're going to need at least two brushes, one with uh, nice bristles and one with kind of already used ones. And you're going to need orange paint and white paint. Very simple, easy to use. So of course, just get your foam and heat it up. Now the reason why we heat it up is so that of course we can make it malleable, but it get, brings out a texture and it just makes it look nice. So then you're going to go get your orange paint. Notice how I'm just using straight orange acrylic, there's nothing simple, these aren't oil paints, they're nothing crazy, they're just standard acrylics. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to quickly go and scratch it all in. We're not doing nice paint brushes, nice strokes or anything. These are literally just, just chucking it on. I mean it's going to leave scratch marks and all that kind of stuff, but that's the texture you want. That's what's going to bring out the nice leathery look in the end, because leather is a distressed material. Then once it's semi-dry, go through with your heat gun and heat it up. Now you can actually pause and let the heat soak into the material as it's going to bring out these kind of like bubbly, coarse kind of material or substance or whatever you want to call it, finish, whatever. Um, and it brings out the texture when we go ahead and dry brush it later. So now you're going to grab your hard bristles. I mean, look at this paintbrush, it's pretty shitty. Um, it's been used plenty of times. So you're going to carefully get a bit of white, not too much. You're going to go just literally just scratch over the top. Like I said, I'm not painting on the white. I'm just scratching and indenting. And as you can see, all the white is highlighting all the, all the imperfections and all the really coarse bits that we did before. And it's really making it give it a texture. It's also blending in with the heat of the foam and giving it an orangey look, which is giving us a multitude of um, different colors, which, of course, what le leather has. So as you can see, between the two that I've done, it's got a much more powerful texture. And then, of course, you can just go finish it off. Now, I did this video in like four minutes, so it depends on how distressed you want your leather to look um, you can spend half an hour doing it and building up the layers and then of course you can go apply it onto your whatever your costume you're working on Skyrim or whatever and it looks pretty uh, not amazing but it definitely looks the part um, in a photo shoot or in a cosplay and it's cheap and effective and you can see from the beginning to where you are now it definitely has a cool effect and it beats buying whatever Otherwise, that's a quick tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow. I hope it didn't bore you. Catch you later, guys.